major development lender Uganda Development Bank still requires a record 1 trillion shillings in order to meet the current demand for affordable credit by enterprises. A new B-plus credit rating of the development lender by Fitch Rating, a leading international rating agency, implies that UDB can move to the global space in collecting more capital for onward lending. Um, the different funders and partners are able to have more confidence in the bank and therefore increase chances of the bank to raise capital. So when the bank's capital base significantly increases, then we'll be able to increase um, our reach physically with time. The Private Sector Foundation, in response, is hailing what it calls this International Corporate Governance Audit of UDB, adding that affordable credit for their members remains critical. And even where government has got money, like agricultural credit fund, they still prefer to put that money in commercial banks. And remember, when this money comes into commercial banks, it is competing with their money. And so it will be very difficult for a bank to give you money at 12%, which is the intention of government. Currently, the state-owned development bank is yet to secure its authorized share capital of 500 billion shillings, up from the current 274 billion provided by government. So for UDB, uh, we look to borrow uh, and leverage on our uh, funding from government, that is the capital that we get, uh, to be able to borrow from multilaterals and then extend that uh, funding to our, our clients. The Fitch rating, according to market players, could also consolidate the current funding that international financials such as the Islamic Development Bank, the Exim Bank and BADEA have since initiated with UDB. Lydia Namono, NTV Business.